I've met um, some of the descendants, including of the Williams family. They were orphaned and the Knight family of Sherbrooke took them in. And so it's wonderful to know that even in tragedy, the community can come together. And it suggested that uh, the community also drove, and the miners drove, the creation of the Bulai Hospital because of this disaster. So out of some terrible things, good things do occur. We will continue to commemorate the Bulai disaster to remember the community, the men, the boys lost, and the impact it had on the wider community, the heartache it caused the families. The men lost, the families, the impact on the community, the economic effects, the effect on the churches, um, the heartache, we should never forget that. On the 23rd of March, 1887, 81 men and boys were killed when their mine blew up. Who's coming out, who isn't? That waiting is the hope. I can't imagine how the women folk in that community not only survived, but could have gone on after the funerals had, had been carried out. In the Royal Commission that was to follow, miners claimed that the strict employment rules set after the Battle of Bulleye Strike had discouraged them from reporting gas on several occasions. As strike leaders were not rehired, the miners felt they too could lose their jobs if they slowed production. 